Hello, this is Annalise Gear, your HR advisor and consultant, and with another episode of Ask the Expert, your HR questions answered in three minutes or less. And the question I got for you today is, what are the best practices for onboarding new employees? So onboarding is a crucial step when it comes to employee retention. And it's one that is often misunderstood and not done very well. So why is onboarding critical to employee retention? It's because we know that new hires, whether they are direct care employees, office employees, even management, will make a decision whether this new job that they, get, they got, this new company that they've joined, is the right one for them within the first 90 days, the first three months. And so making sure that the first three months on the job is as good as possible is really critical to establish a strong connection between your agency and those new hires. One of the key things about onboarding is very often people equate onboarding with orientation. And orientation is pretty much administrative fire hosing with tons of paperwork, forms to sign, information to receive and hopefully retain. But that there is a lot more to onboarding than orientation. So of course you need to get all your paperwork done and I would suggest that you get that out of the way as soon as possible and ideally using an online onboarding process and then spend the face-to-face -face time that you have with your new employees on high touch quality activities. So one of the, the things that I suggest especially for new caregivers, is being involved and engaged in a mentoring program. So for those first, what I call the danger zone of the first 90 days on the job, make sure that, that every single one of your new caregivers is enrolled into a mentoring program, which means they are assigned a mentor. A mentor is basically one of your experienced caregivers who can be, act as a role model, as a coach, and as a big brother, big sister support network for your new hires. Obviously, depending on whether these new caregivers are new to your agency, but experienced caregivers, or they are not only new to your agency, but also very new to the profession of direct care, then the mentoring and the support that they will require in the first 90 days will be very different. If you want to learn more about how to set up a mentoring program that works, do contact me. This is really something that is making a difference in a lot of my clients' business. Email me at annalise at gearconsulting.com with your questions about caregiver mentoring or with any of your HR questions. And make sure to check out my website at gearconsulting.com for more HR content dedicated to home care and home health. Until next time, have a great day.